concept. Most tick patients can tell me, you know, I was walking across this little bridge while we were on vacation, and suddenly it was like somebody stuck an electric wire to my face. You know? Or I was brushing my teeth, and it just hit me like a bolt of lightning. So, I mean, they're, it, they remember when it first hit them. It's, it lasts less than a minute. Now, when it first starts, it lasts less than a minute. It can mature, and especially on some of the medications, it can change its character. So because you don't have these brief lancinating bits, bouts of pain later in the course of the disease doesn't mean you don't have trigeminal neuralgia. But when it starts out, this is the way it is, or it's not trigeminal neuralgia. It's not tick miller road. Paroxysms, some, as you, you all know, you can have them for a while, and then they go away, and then they come back. And you can have them for a while, they go away, and comes back. You say, oh, Lord, please spare me. I don't want this to ever come back again. And you have this hope. And you, if, you know, the, the psychologists say, you know, they can make the pigeon bloody his beak by giving him a, a corn only one out of seven times when he strikes it. So, you know, if you go one week out of seven, oh, you go six weeks out of seven without pain, you think, oh, oh I'm, uh, I'm going to be free. It's not going to come back again. But then it does, so you can finally you get tired of it and look for something to do. Uh, it's it's always confined to the trigeminal nerve, or else it's not trigeminal neuralgia. The trigeminal nerve. I did some uh, studies with Dade Lunsford uh, years ago when I was a resident in Pittsburgh, <coughs> and we there we did a lot of glycerol rhizotomies. That, that was a new thing at the time, and uh, we so we numbed the nerve up and we would check people's heads to see how far back the trigeminal nerve actually went. And we found that in many cases the trigeminal nerve actually went all the way back to the back of the head. So that people with, with lancinating hemicranial pain actually had trigeminal neuralgia, even though the classic is face in the three divisions. The first division could go all the way back on the side of the head. So that in some patients of course, the usual triggers, uh, it always somewhat responds to the neuroleptics. If it doesn't respond to the neuroleptics, then uh, you may not tolerate the neuroleptics, but if it doesn't get better, not maybe go away, but doesn't get better to the usual Tegretol, Dilantin, the Neurontin, and so forth, then it's probably, it's certainly not typical trigeminal neuralgia. They, almost always gets better with that. And um, the neurology books say normal neurologic exam, but that's not entirely true. Some people, if on detailed examination of the face, I can usually find either a slight change in the corneal reflex on the affected side, or I can find some areas of numbness, and that corresponds to abnormalities in the trigeminal nerve itself. And then it almost never awakens patients from a sound sleep. And I'm not sure why that is. I think it's because as we sleep, our blood pressure goes down, the artery isn't banging into the nerve, and we just kind of, everything gets quiescent there. And then, not on, I didn't put it up here, but it's, it's a frequently, though not always, positional. So the patients say, I can't go to sleep if I lie on my right side because I lie on my right side, you know, I get my triggers or maybe the artery, the brain settles somewhat, you know, our brain's kind of moving around in our heads. And, um, and the most important part, since this is a clinical syndrome, you've got a workup that's negative for all other etiologies, all those other things, the vascular, AVMs, tumors. In the days before MRI, that was a very important distinction because there was a, about 5% of people had, uh, had tumors, AVMs, or something else going on inside their head. But now MRIs are good enough that that sort of stuff gets picked up. So if you've had a high-quality MRI with and without contrast, high-quality uh, 1.5 test.